Jamie Terry with another word of encouragement for today, Thursday, October 8th. Today's passage is found in Matthew 8, 24 through 27. And in it, Jesus and his disciples have just left crowds and they are in a boat traveling from one side of the Sea of Galilee to the other. And we pick up the story in verse 24. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the waves. And it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Can you imagine being there in that moment? The winds and the waves obeyed Jesus. One of the words that sticks out to me in this passage is the word suddenly. The Sea of Galilee is below sea level. And because of how it is situated, surrounded by hills, storms can seem to come out of nowhere. And it can be that way in our personal lives. Um, the, sometimes there is no weather report that prepares you for the sudden storms that come into your life. You get that startling diagnosis. Your parents tell you that they're getting a divorce. Your spouse tells you that they have found someone else. You find out that you're losing your job. Someone that you love is killed in an accident or dies from a heart attack or from COVID. These types of sudden circumstances can jolt you to the core and generate fear and instability. But in those storms, you can turn to Jesus like the disciples did. He is Lord over creation and Lord over circumstances. There's a song by Benton Stokes and Tony Ward that says sometimes he calms the storm and other times he calms his child. And I've experienced both. When Jesus has miraculously changed circumstances, it blows my mind how big he is. And when he has given me peace in the midst of huge difficulties, I am equally amazed. Sometimes the storms in our lives can feel like they're just sweeping over us. There is another song by Hillsong called Oceans that I love. And my prayer for you today is that you would experience the beautiful lyrics in your current reality. I pray that you will call upon the name of Jesus, that you would ask him to, to help your eyes get above those waves that your soul would rest in his embrace because you're his child. And whether he calms the storm or he calms your heart, he is right there with you in the boat. Have a great day, friends. We'll see you next time.